The six bricks is a new idea where we want to use six Duplo bricks, six different colors, and uh, help children with pre-numeracy, pre-literacy, and uh, perceptual skills. The idea is to give them games and activities to play, not during the curriculum, but in between lessons or when a teacher finds that the class needs to do an activity, either to bring in some physical activity or to bring in some mental activity. So we're looking at inhibitory control, um, uh, we're looking at working memory and cognitive flexibility. So we are able to develop those um, skills by playing these games and activities with these bricks. The activities that we're working with can be very specific or they can be very general. So the specific skills in literacy would be about um, talking about um, whatever they've built or the process. So more important to us than finding out the end result, in other words, what they've produced. It's finding out how they produced it and what they did to produce it. So they need to be able to communicate that to us. So the first part of literacy that we want to work with children is the communication part. The second part is preparing them for reading. So in order to prepare them for reading, we have to do very specific eye exercises. So with these bricks, we can make the children do specific eye movements that we know are in line with the eye movements that they will need to make when they start reading. So we start training their eyes for reading long before they do the reading. And that way, all the children that would have been hampered by the reading process are less likely to be stuck when it when they start reading. A really important example is the size. The size of the, this manipulative is important. Is The average, the average um, uh, range of vision of a child is about four Duplo bricks, so one extra brick. And you need to build outside of that range of vision if you want to develop problem solving or, or lateral thinking skills. But it's also important for reading because it means their eyes have to move from inside a range that they can see to outside that range. Um, it means that if I build outside of that range, the brick I put down becomes um, abstract because you can't actually see it. Your brain tells you that it's there. So that's the first process of moving from concrete to abstract. So through a concrete manipulation, we start teaching them about what real learning is and how you learn. And the eyes then start moving. And we can do exercises where we get children to place the bricks in an order. So perhaps from left to right, if you're a reader that's reading from left to right, and we can train the eye to concentrate on a concrete tool from left moving to right. If I want to then teach their eyes to get a little bit more specific, I can turn it to the side and I can concentrate on a smaller area. So now I'm starting to teach your eyes to hone in on a smaller area. If I can do that in a concrete tool, it's going to assist me later when I start focusing on smaller things like letters or you know, in an alphabet. The advantage of six bricks is that we're looking at, at maximum five dollars per child and if you consider that they're going to use these bricks for five years of schooling we're looking at one dollar a child per year and that means that any developing country in the world would be able to afford this type of initiative and we could also roll it out on on scale which is quite difficult to do in normal situations So it's a very new idea, a very new concept, and, um, but really people are so excited by it that they've just taken it. So they've heard about it and they're trying it on their own. So at the moment, even though the concept isn't six, years, six months old, we, we've got it in five countries. So we've got five different countries trying it. So we've got it in Ukraine, Mexico, uh, Denmark, South Africa and Turkey are all trying it at the moment. I've attended sessions, training sessions in some of those countries, so I've got really good feedback from some of the teachers. But the countries that I haven't um, done the presentations, I'm getting very similar feedback. So it, it, it seems to be uh, similar comments from around the world. The one is that the teacher feels that they, they feel less like they're, they're preaching and teaching concepts to the child. They're rather exposing the child to a problem and allowing the child to develop their, their own um, technique to solve the problem, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, so it, it develops problem solving by, by practice. They also like the fact that we use repetition, we do the exercises again and again and they thought that the children would get bored and yet they're finding that the children are asking for the repetition which is quite, you know, they didn't expect that. So we are realizing that children, young children, need repetition in their life. It's a very important factor in the way that they learn. It builds self-esteem, self-confidence. So those are the social skills that we need.
Um, another factor is the mathematics. It's, it's because we're able to play games, we can introduce a dice and using the dots on the dice, we can use the studs on top of the brick and we can do all mathematical exercises. So it's a fun way for children to, to engage in maths. And we all know that if we can turn education into fun, that kids are probably or most li more likely to learn more. So it's about, it's about turning um, the learning experience into something that's meaningful. And if it's tactile as well as meaningful, the chances of a child retaining that knowledge is so much higher. So Lego have a three-pronged attack. They have the Lego uh, retail division, which will provide beautiful boxes in shops and all the good products inside the boxes. The Lego education division looks specifically at education, specific kits for very specific educational needs or areas, and uh, training as well, so it backs up the kits with training, but isn't sold through the retail shops. So it's sold through specialists who understand education and are able to talk to teachers and all governments and institutions looking at education. The third arm is through the LEGO Foundation. And the LEGO Foundation is supporting educational initiatives around the world. And it's not only initiatives that are using LEGO. Some use LEGO, but other initiatives are just very good, sound educational initiatives. Part of what they're looking at is all the research into, into the modern thinking around educational concepts and ideas at the moment. The foundation are looking to support countries who don't have the ability to buy the bricks. So if there are you know, countries out there that don't have the money or organizations who want to pilot projects and don't have the funds, they're able to apply to the foundation and the foundation uh, would consider it and then perhaps sponsor the six bricks. In terms of getting the content out there, the foundation have decided to put all the content freely available on the web so that everybody in the world will have access to the six bricks ideas. So even if you couldn't find six bricks, you technically could find six any other tools and use them. Um, and that makes it uh, very powerful. They also want to invite teachers around the world to come up with their own six bricks ideas and enter those onto the website as a kind of worldwide competition, but also a way for teachers around the world to interact with each other and perhaps and possibility to win a prize to meet each other. So quite, a, quite exciting. Very good question, why six? I need to be more than four because four is the range of vision of a child. Five is an odd number. When it comes to teaching children about literacy, we need, we need an imaginary midline because crossing the midline is one of the very first perceptual skills that children need to be able to master and so we need six so that we have the middle the, the middle and that's why it's six so four is not enough five is enough six I need for the for crossing the midline and if I go any more it becomes more expensive so six is basically the best solution at the best price <laughs>